Let's talk about it. Make sure y'all go subscribe to Sheep Stay Sleep TV on YouTube. Go subscribe to Sheep Stay Sleep TV on YouTube. I'm live Monday through Friday, 2.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure y'all go subscribe to the channel. talk about this today we'll talk about this today fellas talk about this today fellas today we're going to talk about boundaries boundaries yep and how boundaries buries bullshit in your life we're going to talk about this today because a lot of us men we don't establish boundaries. We don't have boundaries. And as a man, you have to have boundaries. You have to have do's and don'ts. You have to have structure. You see? You gotta have structure in what you do, how you do it, how you think. You know, all of that requires structure. But a lot of times our lives be chaotic because we don't establish boundaries. A lot of bullshit always is always around us so you always see it may pop up around you is because you're not establishing boundaries and I'm here to tell brothers black men there's nothing wrong with having boundaries bro that don't make you a uppity nigga that don't make you think you too good for nobody or none of that. Boundaries. Let's just look at it from an environmental standpoint. Let's take it away from the individual. Boundaries actually protects things in the environment. You see? There's certain things in the environment that are boundaries and those boundaries once you go past those boundaries you are no longer protected you know by certain forces apply that to your life fellas start applying that to your life the boundaries that you set in your life determines how far you gonna go or how low you gonna go that all depends on your boundaries and when you don't have any boundaries you stay stuck you stay in a in a perpetual state of stagnation there's no growth there's no movement there's there's nothing and it is because you haven't established boundaries so you don't know if you coming or going 
because you don't know which way to go. See, this is why boundaries are important. You have boundaries on a road. You know, you have partitions and, and, and medians and certain things in a row. Why do you think those things are, exist? To protect you. To protect you and to protect others. To pr protect you and to protect others from you. You see? This is why boundaries are important to have. This is why. I know sometimes we, we may not look at things like that, but we have to. We have to. Boundaries keep you safe. Boundaries are a form of protection. Boundaries are also a form of problem solving. Because when we're talking about what men are supposed to do, men are supposed to do these four things. Provide, protect, problem solve, and what? Procreate. Boundaries protect and problem solve. So, if you always got some bullshit going on in your life, maybe because you haven't set any boundaries. You know, people always think they could come in your life and, and, and tell you what to do and tell you how to be and tell you how to think. And it's because you haven't set any boundaries. You haven't set any boundaries for yourself. And we're going to get into the different types of boundaries because they're different types. It's not just one type of boundaries, different types. Y'all online? Oh, yeah, you got one. All right. All right. To it. Boundaries and the importance of them. It's important that, see, a lot of times, a lot of times people be wondering why don't this person respect people's boundaries? Understand that they need to respect people's boundaries. Most people who don't respect boundaries is people who haven't established them. Y'all gotta understand how this works. People are not gonna respect something that they don't have or they have never accomplished for themselves. Good morning, good morning. You know? They're not going to respect your boundaries when they feel like they didn't have to establish any or they don't have any for themselves. You feel me? So, you got to understand this type of shit. And understand that 
your boundaries are yours and there's nothing wrong with exercising them you see so if you don't like people around you that you don't trust keep them the fuck away from you and you know how you keep them away from you because this is this is a problem with a lot of people too this is how you know people don't set boundaries motherfuckers always like to say oh stay away from me stay away from me no you know how you show that you set boundaries for yourself you stay the fuck away from them okay so all of these memes oh you fake people need to stay away from me the fake need to stay away no you need to stay away from the fake it's actually the opposite and this is something that I had to learn personally because I was one of the motherfuckers that always said that oh if you fake stay away from me if you not real stay away from me and you know what I learned nigga it's not about them staying away from you it's about you staying away from them because at the end of the day Fake motherfuckers is always going to be attracted to real. Opposites attract. You see what I'm saying? So it's not about. It's not about them staying away from you. They can't stay away from you, nigga. You the truth. They can't stay away from you. You don't lie. You keep it official. You take care of people when they're around you. So they can't. They can't stay away from you. You got to stay away from them. Because you know that you real. They know that you real. They know that they're fake. And you know that they're fake. So you stay away from them. See, that's the key. You stay away from them. There is no stay away from me. No. I got, I'm going to do you one better. I'm going to do you one better, motherfucker. I'm going to stay away from your fake ass. You ain't never got to worry about me. And see, you know why you do that too? Because when you do it that way, fellas, right? And it's this for the ladies too. I know it's ladies listening. But y'all know my channel is all about motivating the bros. But this how you know that that shit works better because when you stay away from a motherfucker instead of telling them to stay away from you and then you show them that what you're actually showing them is a level of maturity you see <laughs> see this is what we got to get to fellas it's a it's a certain level of maturity that you deal with people on I'm not, you don't have to stay away from me. I'm not telling you how to be. I'm not trying to control you or none of that. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to show you just how much I give a fuck about myself. And I'm going to stay away from you. So we don't have to have no arguments. You don't have to ask me why I don't fuck with you no more. You feel me? You 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 ain't got to worry about that. You don't never have to worry about that. You already know, bro. You already know we're going to get to that. Yes sir. See, you you ain't even got to worry about me judging you cuz because see a fake motherfucker, a, a disloyal motherfucker, a motherfucker Who's there to to finesse and to and to misuse you and to abuse your time and to abuse how you feel and to do all that shit? See, they only came to you to do that to you because you were available. See, you were you were available. You were available, and this is what people do. And you got to understand that 
That's just the way it is, man. That's life. You got to set boundaries. Because when people know that there's boundaries in play, you know what they're going to do? They either going to they either going to show you who they really are or they're going to show you who they really are. <laughs> you see? It's nowhere around it. Once you establish boundaries for yourself, it's nowhere around it. They're either going to show you who they are or they're going to show you who they are. And don't get mad. You know, don't get mad. You know what you do? You actually thank them for showing you who they are. Because guess what? Now they know that they're not who they portray themselves to be. You see? And you ain't gotta you ain't gotta argue and tell nobody how fake they are, how you a fake person, how you this, how you lied to me. You ain't gotta go through none of that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's too late for that, fellas. It's too late for that. See? When you set boundaries, guess what else that does? Guess what else that does? That stop you from jeopardizing your health and being stressed out about shit you can't change. You see what I'm saying? A disloyal piece of shit, you, you can't do nothing with them. You, you can't rehabilitate them. You can't make them want to see the better side of you. No. No. You set boundaries for people like that. You set boundaries for everyone. Because what? That That is how you protect your sanity. Why do y'all think elderly people, elderly people don't be outside after a certain time? They don't, they don't, go to certain places, they don't eat at certain places, it's because the energy it's the energy they, and they understand that at the end of the day they have set boundaries for themselves and they're not going to break them for anyone family, friends nobody See, so if I don't hang out here, I don't hang out here. I don't give a fuck how y'all feel. I don't give a fuck because y'all here and it's lit. I need to be there. No. I don't hang out there. I don't eat there. Because it's at the end of the day, it's for your health. It's for your mental. It's for your physical. That's what this shit is about. And I need y'all to understand this, fellas. I need y'all to understand this, man. Yeah, it don't got nothing to do with that. Not at all. It has something to do with being grown and being mature and understanding who you are. Why would I go and be in, a, in an environment that will trigger me? That will trigger my anger? That will trigger my rage? Why would, I, why would I be in an environment like that? Why would I be around people like that? For what? You gotta set boundaries and fuck what people say. Oh, you don't even come to the hood no more fuck is you talking about come here for what come here for what every time I come all I'm gonna have to do is spend all my fucking money give up all my motherfucking resources cause niggas niggas ain't doing shit you gotta set boundaries man set boundaries 
You got to set boundaries with your woman. You feel me? There's certain shit your woman got to know you ain't about. That you don't tolerate. And it's non-negotiable. See, your boundaries are non-negotiable. You cannot negotiate your boundaries. There is no negotiating my boundaries. There is nothing to talk about. <laughs> nothing to talk about. You feel me? Y'all gotta stop negotiating y'all boundaries. That's how y'all lose respect too. Never negotiate your boundaries. Whatever it is, that's what it is. If they don't, if they don't respect it, then they not for you. But never negotiate your boundaries as a man. Never, never uh compromise your boundaries. Because your boundaries is part of who you are. So if it's certain shit you don't tolerate, don't ever tolerate it. So what if she cute? So what? So what? So what? You don't, if you don't tolerate disrespect and all that slick talk, then don't tolerate it. It don't, it don't matter how good she look. It doesn't matter. You cannot compromise your boundaries. Boundaries uh, can can boundaries are also in the forms of 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 certain devices that we use. Condoms. What do you think condoms are for? Condom. A condom is a boundary. It's a boundary. It's for you to have safe sex. Safety. See why you got to have boundaries, fellas? You have to have emotional boundaries. Don't just be letting don't don't just be letting any woman know about who you are and your heart and all that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? You got to have boundaries, bro. Yeah, but it ain't is 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 more than just the the bitch. It's more than just that. It's more than that. You know. This conversation supersedes women. Niggas who want to talk about women all day is that's your problem. Your problem is a woman. Yeah, y'all y'all might hear me get up here and, and and go off on these chicks. That's to motivate you niggas though. If that don't motivate you niggas, then <laughs> y'all 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 deserve to be treated the way y'all be treated. You feel me? I'm not pacifying niggas. I don't pacify men. I'm not a I'm this is for motivation. This is not to pacify you and to make you feel like oh what, what the way I feel is right. Nah, it's for, for motivation, man. It's for you to set those boundaries with them bum ass bitches. Set them boundaries. The way you the first way you set them boundaries with them bum bitches is you don't stick your dick in them. You don't fuck them. That's the first boundary. You don't have sex with them bum hoes. <laughs> a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all think that it's cool to sit up and, and to have sex with these types of women. But then when these women start expecting shit from y'all, y'all want to run away like bitch niggas. You can't do that. You can't be laying up having sex with a woman and think she ain't going to want nothing from you, nigga. Whether it's a commitment or whether it's some money. Y'all got to understand how women are. Yeah, niggas get emotional, especially when you when you're not agreeing with them no more. I deal with it every day on my channel. Make sure y'all go subscribe. Sheep Stay Sleep TV on YouTube.
Go subscribe to Sheep Stay Sleep TV on YouTube. But yeah, if you if you coming up here just to listen to niggas going on women all day, that's your problem. You ain't gonna hear that from me. I'm here to motivate the bros. And the way you motivate men is not by putting women down. That's weak bitch shit. I don't do that. I tell the truth about nothing ass hoes. And to the women who are, are not that, they don't have a problem with what the fuck I say. The women who do is because they got that bum bitch energy going on within their bodies. <laughs> so, you know, I'm never going to take nothing back. I say on here nothing. But this is to motivate the bros. This ain't this ain't to get up here and to talk shit about women. That's bitch shit. That's corny. That's corny. I'm not gonna get up here and do what they do. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, don't nobody wanna hear that shit, bro. Don't nobody care about that. When you set boundaries, all that shit becomes irrelevant. A chick having fake hair and uh, nails and makeup and all that's goofy talk. That's goofy talk. If you have a problem with those things, then stop having sex with women with fake bodies. Stop having sex with women with fake hair. Stop having sex with women who wear makeup. Because they all don't wear makeup. You see? It's about setting boundaries. And a lot of these women out here, truth be told, a lot of these women out here, they scared of niggas who have boundaries. They stay away from them types. Oh, oh, he mean. Oh, that nigga too serious. Mm-hmm. Because you setting boundaries. Because now she going to have to do more than just give you some pussy. See, women are scared of men like this. Women are scared of men like this. A lot of these women, they're afraid. A nigga that had boundaries. A nigga that's not going to reward a woman for bad behavior. That's having boundaries. You know what I'm saying? Boundaries, man. A lot of niggas ain't men. A lot of niggas ain't ain't men being a man is a mentality it's not an income it's not none of that it's a mentality you feel me it's not our job to prove to these women that we men bro it's not our job that was her father's job that's why she had a father her father was supposed to teach her what a man is supposed to be to her. That was the job of the men in her family. Her grandfather, her father, her uncles, her big brothers. That's what they were supposed to teach her. If, she don't, if she's 25, 30 years old and still don't know what a man is, she's in a whole lot of hell of a problem. And that's her problem. You see? We got to stop putting shit on ourselves that don't belong to us. The way we do that is we set boundaries. Straight up. You set boundaries. And the way you do that is you, you, you stand on what you're not going to do. Stand on it. Exactly. Stop being afraid to stand on your shit. Stop being afraid. Stop being afraid to tell a woman no. See, that's setting a boundary too. A lot of you niggas scared to tell women no. And I'm not talking about tell them no because you ain't got it. I'm talking about telling them no because you do. See, a lot of you niggas ain't ha have never been in a position to tell a woman no. Tell these women no. 
Because a lot of you niggas have never been with women that wanted y'all. That's why I try to tell y'all brothers, man. Get with women that want to be with you. A lot of y'all is with women who y'all want to be with. They don't even really want to be with y'all. A lot of these chicks get with niggas because they need it. It's, it they, it's like a welfare. It's like a welfare voucher. They need the help, so they fucking with you. Other than that, they don't really want to be with you. Get with a woman that want you. Get with a woman that wants you. That wants you for you. Half these half these women don't be wanting to be with the niggas they in their relationships with. They don't want them. They don't want them. Come on, man. You got to set boundaries. Learn how to use the word no. No. Oh, why are you acting like that? No. Oh, that's how you go is? Yup. Oh, this how you treat women? Yup. Oh, I see why you were single and See, don't don't fall for all, all that shaming language that they like to use. Don't fall for that shit because they do that and they're going to always do it. They're going to give you the shame and the shaming tactics. Oh, oh, this, oh, why? But why are you why are you doing that? Don't fall for that shit. Fall for that shit. Women, women been doing that since they was little girls. Playing on niggas' feelings and shit. Trying to make you feel bad for not giving them their way. <laughs> no. Tell her no. A lot of these women, are this, that's why they have a level of entitlement. Because you don't tell them no. No is setting a boundary. You're, you're setting a boundary when you say no. There's a boundary. And people respect boundaries. People don't respect people. People respect boundaries. A lot of women out here don't respect men. They respect boundaries. That's when they know you a man. When they know they can't play with you a certain way. When they know they can't say certain shit to you in a certain way. It's called a boundary. And they shame niggas for having boundaries. They shame you. Because you don't want a drunk bitch. They shame you. They shame you for this. They shame you because you don't want a drama queen. A woman that's always in somebody else's business. That's always talking about some bullshit. And gossiping all the time. See, a woman is going to shame you when you have these boundaries because what? She's used to being out of order. She's used to being a bum. See? She's used to living her life in chaos. That's why she like running the street, making noise, hopping out of cars, drunk, screaming in the street. That's what all that's about. They think that's fun. That's fun. That's fun. See? But you got to set that boundary. You got to set that boundary by not fucking with them. See, because motherfuckers can get up here and talk all the shit that they want. But if you still going to fuck these women, then what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> You can sit here and talk all this shit, but if you still going to lay up with these same types of bras, then what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> There's nothing to talk about. There's really nothing you can really say. There's nothing you can really prove. Set your boundaries, man.